A fundamental question in the banking literature is why do we need capital regulation? We present a theory in which capital requirements can push bad banks out, hence improving the quality of the banking system. But at the same time, the requirements shouldn't be too strict either because that can shrink the size of the good banks. And conditional on bad banks staying out, we want the good banks to be as big as possible. So there's a trade-off there. While the theory itself is very new, it appears to be quite reflective of reality. There are still many open questions. For example, why do banks keep so much capital on their balance sheet, more than they need to? At this point in time, I don't have the answers to these questions yet. However, if I'm to guess, the resolution of this puzzle is going to come from information economics. My colleagues here in the University of Bristol Business School and I are searching for it.